Carl, welcome to this week's edition of the dugout. We'll start on a, uh, a positive note with uh, a 50-24 win over Hamill, who uh, put, ran us close to the game really, didn't he? Um, what were your initial thoughts over that game? We did okay. I, you know, I'll tell you now. Whoever went to the game will will know that you know we bombed some chances. Um, Hemel had a go at us. I thought you know a couple of their tries. Uh, I thought were a question mark on them, but the scoreline was the scoreline, and it, and I don't think it reflected the game. You know, uh, Jason Tarley was outstanding, and he, he probably could have scored four or five tries, but. Jason being Jace, he, he's trying to pass it to other people and he had that many options around him on a couple of them that you know, um, we bombed them and, and one of them he bombed himself when Mitz Vinson uh, ripped the ball off him when he was trying to go straight through him instead of he had all the room around him and even Jace said it, Mitch was very clever and just ripped the ball off him which you know another try gone. Um, so they had a go, I, you know, Pete Green's first game and I thought he was real good. Um, it certainly gives us something to be tough as anything and work rate's great and carries the ball strong and, and I think he lifted a few of the players and so there's there's a lot of questions there for for me to, to ask myself uh, uh, going forward. Um, but like I say, I certainly thought Pete Green was, was really good. It looked like he'd never not been playing all year. It wasn't blowing. Um, you look good. Well, he mentioned to to uh, one of the reporters down at Granite. This is the first time he's obviously pulled on a Don shirt since 2009 as well. So, how good was it to have him back in the colours? Brilliant. You know, I've spoke to Pete this week, and we'll sit down next week and have another chat because, you know, as an ex-player, you're a long time finished, and Pete's not played probably 12 months too long for us, and. He's still got plenty left in him. Plenty left in him. After watching that game, he's he's got plenty more for the Dons. And you know, I know what the club means to him. I know he's he's passionate about the club. I know he he's want, he's wanting a future here on coaching and all that sort of stuff. And he'll he'll no doubt have some questions for me to ask. You know, if I play, will it affect me coaching and all this sort of stuff? Well, Pete Green, as well as Ray and Jackie and and the family are Dons through and through. So. You know, you need to you need to look after people like that, and um, like I say, he he was impressive. It really, I mean it. He's, I know he's been playing for Tolbar, but you know, I didn't expect him to to be as good as he was on on the weekend, and and keen and eager, and really wanting to do well for the club, and and probably like I think he's told the boys back up his mouth what what he's been saying, you know, um, to them during the season, but. I'll sit down with Pete next week and um, and we'll um, we'll see the direction of travel where where he wants to go. But Pete's got no fears that he doesn't play a big part in in our club. Obviously, you've just mentioned there about his coaching abilities as well. He, as part of a three man interim coach role, led the team to a win. So he's putting tremendous pressure on your shoulders at this moment in time. Yeah, it's good. I'm happy. It's not pressure for me. Is the more they carry on um, doing what they're doing and and getting the results. You know, the more probably the the speckies and the you blokes and the media and all that will, you know, get off me back about who we're bringing in and asking the question every week. So, you know, while ever while ever they're doing okay, it's I'm not I'm not saying that we won't bring anyone in if we need to. Um, what I'm saying is, it gives us a chance to really make sure we try and make the right decision. Mood in the camp is is one of the main reasons. What, what I go towards a fantastic season and obviously now after our last couple, three, four weeks it's not gone our way in results wide but with that win against Hamill the mood must be starting to creep back up and positive again. Uh, the boys are great. The boys are the boys are alright and you know we um, they know. They're, they're all fighting for their places and um, the, the mood's okay. It's, we've just got to get things right and, and win. Simple as that. We just got to win. Um, as long as you're winning, we've, uh, we we still feel we put a team together to to win, um, and that's that's what we need to do. It's simple. Boys need to be hungry, focused. They need to be aggressive, and you know everything you do. 
to, to win rugby games, they need to do it. And we believe we've got the personnel. Whether we, we, we look around and bring, have to bring others in, we'll do that if we have to. Um, but that's the, the job of the, the head man, to come and say, you know, what's, what's Hull got for us? We've got a massive month, huge month, and, and we said that last week. We've got the, you know, we know what we've got. Keefley, good side, challenge us, good four pack. We need to match him, beaten us already this year, knocked us out of the iPro Cup, which we had ambition to get to the final. Didn't do that. Um, and we're missing some key players, you know. Uh, Fekker's got Achilles, Achilles strain. He's, you know, four weeks, four to five weeks, so we're told. Big loss for us. Um, he, he's been big for us. And uh, well, who else is Corey? Corey is having a, another month with Hemel. Um, he needs to play and he, he needs some fitness. But he's he's doing things right. He's getting some uh, minutes in, under his belt there. We've lost Mason. Um, so we're, you know, we're, we've got a big month and it may be that we may have to, to see who's available as well from Hull if we, um, if we pick up some injuries. So... We've got that option available to us, and you know I'm pretty sure that if Pete has, uh, needs to use it, he'll use it. We move on to Sunday's game now against Keithley Cougars here at the Keepmoke Stadium. How vitally important is it that we get a result over them to keep the pressure on the other three teams that are in a little bit of a small cluster at the top of Kingston Press League One? Oh, I've, I've said we've got to win. Um, we're at home. It's a test for us. You know, the Hemel game last week, everyone expected us to win that game, regardless of what the score was. Um, everyone expected us to win that. This week will tell us a lot. This week, next week, Workington, or the week after, Barrow, Whitehaven. Don't come tougher than that in this league. Doesn't come tougher. So, starts with Keefley, um, and they're, they're doing all right. They had a decent game last week uh, against Barrow. Uh, big score, I think it was fifty something to forty-eight, or so. That tells you they can attack. Um, so it's a, it'll be a tough one. When we played them over there, it was a real physical game, and they've got some quality players on their side. Mike Emmett's there. We all know what Mike does. He's he's good. He, he he's involved in everything. He's good at upsetting boys and he very very smart footballer so um, we know what he can do we just need to make sure that we focus on ourselves we prepare right um, and listen the the Donny public if we give everything we've got the boys go out and give everything they've got it's all we can ask for the result will take care of itself so we've got to go play um, there's some of the boys the combinations are coming together nicely now so you know if we put that all together on our day and and everyone's saying one day when it all clicks we will have a big win hopefully that'll be this week and then finally mm -hmm. uh, just what I'll do to your match sponsors for this weekend yeah Carol Green Nutrition she's brilliant you know we um, appreciate everything she does Carol she's a, a real club lady and um, you know, massive respect to her because she sponsors players, she sponsors games, she's just fantastic. And like all our sponsors, they're all, you know they're all repeat sponsors and and stand by us. And no matter what happens, they stick with us. So we're real, um, really appreciative of that. And and also, I'd like to um, just say a big thanks to to the supporters who travelled all the way to Hemel. I thought effort, great effort. Uh, I think we had more than they had there, so um, you know a, a, a massive amount of respect to all them who, who come out of their way and, and travelled all the way down there. So, you know, it's like we say, it's over three hours away, and for them to do that um, when we've had a bit of bit of turmoil in the week is um, credit to them. Thanks, Carl. Cheers.